<laughs> Welcome to Australia again. Thank you, Andrew. It's good to be here. Yeah, all the way from Florida? Yes. How about. long was the flight? Well, the flight was uh, about 20 hours altogether. Were you awake that whole time? No, I was lucky. Uh, Jennifer and I got about eight hours of sleep on the plane, which hey, was a first for us. That is so good. <laughs> we're feeling really, really good today. I always today. say flying this way is a little easier than going back. It is for me. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to going back. Well, we're glad you're here down in our Melbourne area. Thank and you. we're grateful that you're going to be presenting. Now, you work with Florida Hospital and the larger Adventist Health Systems West. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, uh, Florida Hospital is... Um, uh, part of Adventist Health System. We have eight campuses in the city of Orlando. We have about 25 hospitals in Florida. Um, and Adventist Health System, which we're really fortunate to be a part of, is the largest Protestant healthcare system on the planet. Wow. So it really gives us an opportunity to um, really take the healing message of Christ to people. We, on our campuses alone, among our eight campuses alone, and we have 18 clinics in Orlando, we see a million patients a year. A million? A million patients, patients a year. And our, our mission at the hospital is extending the healing ministry of Christ. So it really gives us a chance to try to bring healing hope to people's lives. It's really an amazing, wonderful work to be a part of. Now, it sounds like this is kind of a different hospital. You're not just seeing patients coming in and out, but you guys help teach them about a better way to live. We do. Um, our flagship campus in Orlando is Celebration Health. Mm -hmm. And at Celebration Health, they've taken the creation health principles, which are whole person health and wellness principles, and they include those in the pre-work, uh, the healing that's going to be done, mm -hmm. whether it's operations or whatever it might be. So they include those principles in the pre-work, during their stay with us, and as they leave, they are fully versed in the creation health principles, and it's turning into a demonstration hospital. How do you, how do you find the patients responding to that kind of input? You know, they are very positive. Yep. Uh, Overwhelmingly, the response to them is they're so grateful that we took an interest in more than just their physical body. Mm -hmm. And uh, most of them, I'd say over 90%, are so happy that we're there to uh, help spiritually encourage them through prayer and uh, also help them see the mind-body connection of why maybe they're in the situation they're in and some mm -hmm. simple things they can do to uh, be healthier and happier. Now, you mentioned a whole person paradigm. Kind of describe that a little bit. What does that mean? The whole person paradigm would be that there's more to health than just diet and exercise. Uh, you would include the, the mental portion, the spiritual, the social aspect. Oftentimes, we've just talked about exercise and nutrition, okay. but deeply impacting our wellness, because wellness is more than just the absence of disease, uh, is our walk with God, relationships. Uh, our outlook on life is huge. I'll be talking about that on Monday, and I think it's the most important one of all. Mm -hmm. uh, so we really take, um, we've expanded the, the traditional eight principles of, of health that the Adventists that we've been teaching as Adventists mm -hmm. and we've broadened them a little bit to include okay. the whole person. So that's the acronym creation then? Creation. Okay, yes. so we'll be going through each of these pretty much throughout the weekend. Excellent. Yep. Now on a personal note, you mentioned you traveled over with Jennifer. That's not normal for you. <laughs> no, it's not. Jennifer and I rarely get a chance to travel together. She's gone 150 days a year and uh, I'm, I'm traveling as well. So it's always a uh, it's always a treat when we get a chance to travel together and do things like this. Alrighty, so here's the big question. Right. What's it like to be in the shadow of somebody probably more popular than you are? <laughs> well, you know, I'm used to it after 16 years. I am referred to as the singer's husband. That's my, my title. <laughs> uh, and now that we have a son who's going on five, I'm, I'm, I'm either the singer's husband or Garrison's father. Okay. You know, I don't have my own dinner. I, I know what it's like to be the invisible man, <laughs> but I'm okay with that because I, I like lurking in the shadows anyway. It's, sure. It's just not it's a problem. Fine. Well, we're gl glad you're here. We're looking forward to your presentation. God Thank bless you. Thank you, Andrew. You. I appreciate it.